Andrew's just a bum. Duke attacked by Omid Scobie for taking no responsibility at £12 million bill. Author and journalist Omid Scobie, who co-wrote a book on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, has hit out at Andrew over claims the Bank of Mummy will pay a significant portion of his settlement. Prince Andrew has been accused of taking no responsibility by Meghan Markle's royal author friend after settling a civil sex assault case out of court. On Tuesday, February 15, the Duke of York reached a settlement in principle with his accuser Virginia Jufri after she brought forward allegations of sexual assault when she was 17, which Andrew has fervently denied. Author and journalist Tomid Scobie has hit out at Andrew for reportedly doing what only elite members of society can do as he suggests a significant portion of the reported £12 million settlement will come from the Bank of Mummy, although this has not been confirmed. Andrew has recently sold a ski chalet of his in Switzerland, but Mr Scobie believes the Queen could step in to help her son. Writing an opinion column in The Independent, Mr Scobie said, Andrew convincing our head of state to privately cover close to half of the settlement sum in a civil rape case has resulted in a stain on his mother's legacy in one of the most defining years of her seven-decade reign. It also raises the question that if there's so much disposable private wealth hidden behind palace walls, why should people of this country, many of whom are struggling to heat their homes this winter, continue to dish out an annual contribution to the royal establishment. He added, the thing is, no matter how you try to polish it, there's no way to hide the fact that HRH Les Andrew continues to swan around taking no responsibility for his behavior, a taxpayer-funded security team still at his beck and call. Mr Scobie is best known for co-authoring the book Finding Freedom about Prince Harry and Meghan, who he reportedly is very close to. The Duke of York is now facing calls to confirm whether he will fund the multi-million pound cost of his civil sex case settlement and not the public or royal family. Andrew's legal team had previously said they wanted a jury trial to contest the allegations in court but has since opted to reach a settlement with Ms. Jufri. The Duke said in a letter, submitted to the United States District Court, that he regrets his association with disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein, who Ms. Jufri says sex trafficked her. Prince Andrew may have saved himself from a court trial in his sexual abuse case, but not from further humiliation. This is a possibility if his accuser, Virginia Roberts Jufri, decides to relive her experience in a book. The Duke of York no longer has to go through a deposition following news that he has settled the case out of court. He reportedly loaned about £12 million to close the case, but there is still a problem. The plaintiff did not sign a non-disclosure agreement, NDA, which means she can still write about her alleged sexual abuse at the hands of the royal in a tell-all book. Jufri's lawyer, David Boys, refused to divulge the amount of the settlement and told the public that they can get that information from Prince Andrew himself. But he confirmed that there is no NDA. This means that the defendant, and the royal family for that matter, still have to worry about the accuser spilling all the sordid details in her book. She had accused the 61-year-old of rape in the first degree in a New York court. She claimed he sexually abused her three times when she was just 17 years old. Prince Andrew had been adamant that he is innocent and had even requested for a trial by jury to clear his name. He was scheduled for a deposition via video call on March 10, but it is believed that Prince Charles and Queen Elizabeth II agreed to loan him the settlement amount to close the case ahead of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations in June and before Prince Philip's memorial service in April. However, with the book the case could drag on and on, according to royal expert Angela Levin. She told The Sun, apparently Virginia is allowed to write a book about herself, or broadcast about herself as she sees fit, we don't know when she will do that, we don't know when it might be broadcast.
reportedly is very close to. The Duke of York is now facing calls to confirm whether he will fund the multi-million pound cost of his civil sex case settlement and not the public or royal family. Andrew's legal team had previously said they wanted a jury trial to contest the allegations in court but has since opted to reach a settlement with Ms. Jufri. The Duke said in a letter, submitted to the United States District Court, that he regrets his association with disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein, who Ms. Jufri says sex trafficked her. Prince Andrew may have saved himself from a court trial in his sexual abuse case, but not from further humiliation. This is a possibility if his accuser, Virginia Roberts Jufri, decides to relive her experience in a book. The Duke of York no longer has to go through a deposition following news that he has settled the case out of court. He reportedly loaned about £12 million to close the case, but there is still a problem.